Hey guys, Monstrous and Life here today, and now we have another deck profile test hand video for you guys. This, as you see in the title, it's the Orcus Hand Loop with the Sky Scourge Neuralis. I'm going to go into the combo, I'm going to go into choices, I'm going to what you should, ideas what you should do, game two, game three. You know how I like to play this deck is, I like to let the opponent go first, game one, and then basically put my whole side deck in as my main deck, if you guys understand what I'm saying. And then you take out your side deck cards for going second, and then you put in the hand for game two if you lose game one. Which most times you don't, because even though I was playing it this way at my locals and I top eight it, and I just I just split in my last round because I didn't really feel like playing anymore. It still was too much thinking. I had a long weekend of playing playing games both days. But let's get right into it. You know, as always, you know, let your point cut. Cut right there. And let's see your opening hand. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got Justia, we got Foolish Burial, we got Grismic Orochi, and we have a Danger Mothman. Okay, we have a pretty okay hand, depending on what we get. It's because we somewhat have the combo, because we could do Foolish Burial if you really just want to make sure you get your combo out. You would just do this. You would Foolish Burial for your Carbon Nut on. And then you advance the carbonite on to get out your level one. We're gonna send out this guy. We're gonna send our carbonite to the grave with foolish burial. You know, send that, you banish it. Especially some flame veil guard from your deck. And then you could just normal summon the Orcus Hawk 4, or you can normal summon the Mothman. But for this hand, since we have Orcus and Gizmo in our hand, we're just gonna activate the Mothman. We're going to reveal it. See the way we're going to get to it either way. Mm -hmm. uh, one to four. Five, six, we roll. We got three. So our Justia goes to the graveyard. Take some of our Mothman. Mothman's effect. We draw one. Oh, look, we got one for one. Which we really don't need right about now. So let's. And remember, this was actually your normal summon. So if the normal summon comes up later on in the combo, I probably won't remember. But let's go right into it. We get our Ib, Ib's effect. You search out your Word Lexi Guard Dragon. Which I like saying you should play two Word Lexi Guard Dragons and then one of the succession. I sold my successions because we didn't reprint it. But I have an updated list after the after the Megatons come out. Now you use your Word Lexi Guard Dragon. You can bring back out this. You can, you know, as always, you link these two guys off. For your link to Peacock, use Ib's effect. You know, this is where it defers a little bit from because you special amount Lee with the Sky Scourge hand loop combo, and you add the, the dragon to your hand with Lee's effect to search. Which is also Lee is also pretty good in just regular Ib dot decks because it's like you have a brick with the world world child's guard dragon in your hand, and you run more than one link two to that generic that you can go into, you can always just search out Lee, which basically gets this out of your hand. Unless you run Orcus combo, then you're able to discard it, get it to the graveyard. So now you like these two guys off. For another beak up. And now you use Lee's effect in grave. You discard one to add it back. Then you banish your world child's guard dragon. You can bring back your Justia or your Flame Guard since they're both on the grave. But with the combo, we would have that one in grave. So let's just send that one. Especially on your LP. Use a guard dragon effect and LP over. Up his effect since two or more link points point. You know, a special summon. Mm -mm -mm. Special summon up. Baby Firewall Dragon, Omni Dragon Rotor. Omni Dragon Rotor's effect. Your call should be Lee. It's very important you send Lee at this time. Target your B Cop. B Cop starts out your Sky Scourge. These two guys off to unlock yourself from dragons. You go into your Romulus or your Redix Fields. I like Romulus because we run the Dragon's Ravine because we run a Dragon Engine in here also. Because it's like, why not? Because Sky is gonna put everything in the graveyard. So you might as well use your hand, put like the Shreels, put Tempest in the river. So you have a bigger follow up. Because a lot of problems I was having was I couldn't close out games fast enough. Because I went against a solid player 
all the monsters in the graveyard and all I needed was like one one turn to recover. I couldn't end the turn on my next turn, even with the Orcus combo, and I ended up losing that match. Now I can use Dragon's Ravine's effect. Discard one card. You need to discard your Harpoor. Doesn't really make it honestly a difference. Then you can send uh, either the Shredo or Tempest to your graveyard. We're just going to send Tempest just because. Just because you know you're going to have two dragons to banish to summon it. But you won't be able to do it this turn. You have to do it your following turn because you're going to lock yourself in the darks with the Oryx combo. But if you want to summon another monster out this turn, even though you already had the Gizmet that you're going to be able to summon out at the end of your combo, you can send it to Street on set of the Tempest. Now in this case, now you let these two guys off. Go into your Nightmare Unicorn. Nightmare Unicorn, you don't use this back. I mean, you could have put this back if you really wanted to. Just get another card chain. You don't need to. Go into your Nightmare Mermaid. Nightmare Mermaid's effect. Discard anything. You don't need one for I mean, you could keep one for one, but you won't be able to trigger it. Now use that. You bring out, obviously, your Orcus Nightmare. Those two guys off. Bring your Galatea. I'm going to bring these down so you can see them just a little bit better. Dragon's Ravine is also doubling as the field center. Okay, use Orcus Nightmare as a fight. You can send, since you already have the Harpoor in the graveyard, you don't need to send Harpoor. You can send the Warlon. Just see, now he gains 800. It doesn't make a difference. Now you can use Harpoor as a fight. You can spark some out your simple skeleton from your deck. into the graveyard. You can go into your long garrison. Long garrison, do this. You can attach your Orcus Nightmare. Now you can go into your Sky Scourge. You banish your three, or your four actually all together. Your one fiend, two fiends, your one fairy, and your third fiend. Three fiends, one light fairy. So right there, getting Bash, use Sky Scourge Effect, and nukes everything in both players' hand. Even himself, everything goes to the graveyard. You draw one card, we draw Mothman. I don't know why I'm shuffling, but now you can use, uh... You use Symbol in the graveyard, you can bring back your Galatea. You can use Galatea's Effect. You can put the symbol back in your deck if you really want to. It doesn't really make a difference. Or even Orca's Nightmare to send it to the graveyard anyway. Yeah, that's if you grab the battle. So depending on what your matchup is or whichever one you want to grab. That's the only win card. If you're going against Solomon, great. I would say, and they don't have the Foxy in the graveyard. I would say get the battle. So then you just send whatever they summon. Or like Striker, you probably want to grab the Negate just to banish whatever they have because they might grab all an Engage off the top deck and then they'll be able to get, get search one and add one. Just depending on what matchup it is. But the more generic one to get is just probably the Babel. So now, I well, can put it right here just if you already go into X the Monster deck, you can like. Now you can use uh, Gizmic in the Graveyard. Banish your top eight face down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It really doesn't make a difference with what point what you banish. Uh, you banish, okay, doesn't make a difference. You banished all that. And you have two monsters, you have the orchestrated babble. Also, what you also can do, because you still have the world legacy world one, you can banish it. You can special them out your hardcore if you really wanted to. If you run the third Galatea, you can link those into another Galatea right there. So they both can be a short battle. We don't. This just in case they get rid of the RF field, if they enter red slumber, slumber us, enter red kaiju slumber, you can still special some summon out for your deck too with the quick effects. But just in case you do run the other Galatea, you can do that. Galatea. And now both of them can't be disturbed by battle, they're co-linked. And you also have quick effects, you can activate this quick effect on your opponent's turn, you can activate this quick effect. Because he has his own quick effect. He's an Orcus monster. You have Orcus Nightmare to send your simple skeleton. So then you can bring back your Dengarasu. 
or you can remake your long gear suit right here. And I believe that's all the quick effects we have. And then next turn, on your turn, you can use Bring Back Tempest, which are Dragons and Grief. And that's the worst hand loop. And this is updated from when I topped, because now I made it still a lot more consistent that you have more damage to put on board. Because remember, you still have the Mothman, and let's just draw an X card. Or matter of fact, we would have probably used their effect. We would have banished Orcus Nightmare. This is a great idea. Yeah, you would have sent... Uh, you would have sent Orcus Simple Skeleton, banished Orcus Simple Skeleton, just saying like how the pile would work. Then you would bring back your symbol, or not your symbol skeleton, you'd bring back your Dengar, so a symbol skeleton's effect. You would send whatever they play, or you would use the crescendo, depending on what your matchup is. Then you use the effect on the end phase of the Gizmo Orochi. You banish your top eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think those eight cards, I don't know, it doesn't really make a difference. You bring back this guy, you draw one card, you got dragged down to the grave, it doesn't make a difference. You can normal summon this guy. You can attempt to activate Tempest, banish these two. You're wrong with listening to your LP. Some my Tempest, and this is more than 8,000 points of damage right here. Because beforehand, I wasn't running any of this stuff, any of the extra stuff. I don't really know what extra. I know I threw in Tempest, I threw in the more Dragon Engines. I knew I'd, I was playing without, I was only playing one Galatea, which was really stupid. Now I'm playing without, I think, most of the dangerous, but this would be the end board with drag down in hand. And then, you know, just use Galatea's effect, you know, to recycle stuff. Uh, doesn't really, really make a difference at this point what you recycle. You can recycle the work as a nightmare if you really wanted to. Because you still have the hard pour and special summon it from the deck. Or you could probably just recycle the, the simple skeleton. If something goes out of whack, I mean, you can make the Boros Warp with this. I don't run Boros Warp, I don't have one. And this is what's left of your extra deck. And this is the Orcus Hand Loop Guard Dragon variant that I've been testing. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Shout out to H2NC and Yu Gi Oh! 2 for really like showing the groundwork. And I just added on to it with my own personal likes and dislikes. And let's get probably right into like the deck profile so you guys can see the spice in this deck. Okay, for our deck profile, let's get right into it. We're running two overactors. This should be three. I sold one, I thought I had a fourth one. They got bought out like the next day, so I didn't want to pay $13 for another copy. But it's like, as you saw, you can still do the combo for only two. But run three if you have three, it's well worth it. I played, I played my locals with the only two. Never really did not see it because you have the dangers in here, even though dangers really didn't come up in the test video. But run the three. Drag Ayla, you run miscellaneous swords. Just a level one tuner, just help get into Ib if you need it. Same thing with Gilosaurus, he's a level three. You draw the level two, or way to get Carbonetta in the rigor. With this guy, you still get your Ib combo. And he's just a false big target if you ever need an extra monster, if you need to make Saryuja or something, just to get more monsters in the field, if you have a handful of dangers. Carbonetta, you need it for the combo. Vanish it, grab him from your hand or duck. Just land source for the drag Ayla. And also, if you also open up a false dig and over raptor or two false digs, I always grab one over raptor and then one miscellaneous ores. Or if you have those two, grab the ghost source after that. This guy helps against hand traps against them. It's even better if they forget you have it in your hand or they don't think you run it. They ash the over raptor, you buy miscellaneous source, and they waste their ash for the turn. Now for some more starters, your three mathematicians. Dragon that's our expensive and budget player like the rest of you guys. The dangers are mine, I'm borrowing them from a friend also. Machina Fortress. Just, it may come up. It has a nice effect. He can, like, pop a card when he's, like, destroyed. Or if he's targeted by a monster, you look at your point and discard one. I've been testing it. Haven't drawn it. I only had the one copy. But, you know, you have so many machines in there. You can discard, you can discard him and Gizmic. Bring him back and then Gizmic with a Gizmic effect. He's level 7. The other guy's level 8. No, there's no exceed plays, but... Just more beat sticks to make that like uh, like turn three push. As you do the hand loop, you don't have enough monsters to really go for the game. It's like you don't give them a chance to draw a super power or something. Especially if you're going into game three and they know what you're doing. When it comes to game three, if I ever go there, I always make my opponent go first. And then I decide heavy with all my side deck cards. 
And then usually I draw one of them and I just break their board or I'd stop their combo. The one gives me, this should be three. I only tested the one. I loved it. I wanted to see this more, but he got bought out. Now he's like, he was $20 at the point. Now he's back to 14. I really don't want to buy him unless he's like a, under a $10 card, which is one I got this one at. But that should be three. If you have three, play three. For the combo, you need a Lee. Sky Scourge. And just for some helpful extenders, you know, run the Danger Package. One Suchinoko. One Chupacabra. Three Mothmans. Two Nessies. One Jackalope. Oh, two Jackalopes. <laughs> the Dangers, as you saw, the combo didn't need Dangers. Dangers help unbreak your hands, help you get more monsters if you need to go to Sarija. Draw more cards, fix your hand. That's all they're there for. If you don't, if you don't have them, don't worry about them. You can still play this deck without them. Now for Orcus Lent, we have two hard fours. I sold and traded all my other ones. I only kept two for myself at the very end of it. I wish I had a third one. If I pull one in the test pack, I, you should play three of these guys. And probably two of this guy. I only have the one. Uh, I looked in my book, can't find no more of these guys. You should play a three, two, uh, two, one lineup. Especially with the Gizmo, because you don't want to banish all your combo pieces. So I was just up Harpoor to three and put some of the skulls in it too. Everything else I have. Now for our dragons, you want your one Leviathan. If it comes up, you can pop your. If you go in second, gain one. Do all your combo. Try to get as far as you can. Bait all the gates and then some of this guy. Pop two cards and hope that you can bring yourself right back into it. I don't the one because I'm not paying that ridiculous forty dollar price. I don't know if he's like ten. I had two of them. I sold the other one at 20 and he was 25. Got three Sarivus to stop effect failures and uh, impermanence. And the other targeting cards, and when he targeted you for the gates, just drop this on and then like haha, you laugh. I'm actually not at three because I sold most of my copies of Club by the Grave because the reprint was happening. I only have one in the deck right now. I never really want to see more than one because I was not even getting a hand trap. Because there's so many combo players, they don't play hand traps in combo decks. One red eyes, if it comes up, it comes up. Sometimes I like to search this off LP. Or no, I like to bring out Omni Dragon. If I'm not, if I don't want to give away the hand loop, I'll search himself and I'll search this guy. And then I'll banish the LP and I'll just go into more guard dragon the police. And end with the Hredic seals. If I don't want to give it away yet. You're one you're one black, you're one white. You just need it. They're just free fighter, they're free summons in this deck. You're Destrudo and your Tempest. You discard either one of these with uh, Dragon's Ravine. They bring themselves back. There's just more way to get monsters on board and more way to get Link Fighter. Now, for your, for your baby dragons. One Justia, one Flamel Guard, one Omni Dragon for the combo, and one Rochala Scar Dragon for the combo. You need all these guys. Now, for your spells. One Foolish Burial, one Win for One, one Dragon Termine, one Orc Shadow Babel, one Dragon Shrine, one Monster Born. Your one I'll call by this should be three, but only has one until the Megatons come out. Your two were Luxy Guard Dragons. I like to have two with the one succession, as I said earlier. But I still have my succession. I will get another one when the tens drop. But I like the two one lot, so then if you ever get Ash or Ibber Effect Billard, you can always have me maybe open this with your hand. And that's like, haha, you ba I baited it out. Your two drag downs, these are just pseudo call by the graves. You know, helps get rid of a hand trap and hopefully don't draw into one. Three fossil digs, get your wrapped into your hand. Get your gillosaurus, get your miscellaneous horse, get whatever dra dinosaur you need. Or the carbonetta if you ever have, if you have a handful of dangers you want to try to discard them the old fashioned way. And then your one trap is your one orcus crescendo. Okay, let's get into our extra deck. Oh, damn, yeah, I didn't organize it. Okay, well. Get your one Ib, your two Dengarasus, your Saryuja, your Phoenix, your Heretic Seal, your two Galateas, your one Mermaid, your one Longarasu, two Beat Cops, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Romulus, and one Elfie. 
the extra deck's pretty, pretty tight. You can take out Saryuja if you don't ever see yourself going to it. So you can have one extra card you want to play like a third Galatea, a second long Gerasu, or just want to play anything else. Now for your side deck, your side frame package. This, against an Ib Dop deck, it just kills them. It ends their turns. So you do this on the Ib, they do hunting our response. They round the War Child's Guard Dragon, and that's it. One Ghost Old Girl, two Effect Failures, just more hand traps. And I have been thinking about just signing, just signing all hand traps and going first. And I mean, not going first, but just make your point go first. Then you go to six card, and then if you open up with any of these against any of the combo of the Dragon Link decks, you just end their turn. Because they have no follow ups after that. Now, just for more going second cards, just to help break boards, you have two mind control. But back row heavy decks, strike her mine if it's still around. You have three twin twisters. More back row hate, Dracos, Alter Dice. Whatever uses back row or face a back row, you got two in nightmares. One anti spell frames for a striker matchup. Pendulums. And then you have your one order. And that's it for our side extra and main deck. Hope you guys enjoy.